Hello and welcome to Bluegrass Community and Technical College. My name is Maria Rutherford. I am the Interdisciplinary Early Childhood Coordinator here at BCTC. And I would personally like to thank you for choosing us, BCTC, to take your online class. As the IEC coordinator of the program, I have implemented strategic changes in the format of the IEC Blackboard course shells being taught by myself and or the other BCTC adjunct professors. You will notice that your class is set up in units and every unit has a study unit guide. Let me explain what that means. A unit is set up so that you, the student, will have the following flexibility to complete all of your assignments within a given time period. Your professor will determine if the unit is due in one week, two weeks, or three weeks. It is your responsibility as a student to ensure that the unit is completed by the due date that you have been assigned, but you do have the flexibility to complete the unit according to your schedule within the specific time frame given. The study unit guide gives you a printable document with step-by-step -step prompts as to how you will obtain the completion of the unit. I am currently enrolled as a doctoral student myself, so I understand juggling jobs, life, exercise time, fun time, and of course schoolwork. I use a checklist every day to keep me on target, to keep me focused toward my goals. This is what a study unit guide does for you. It is a checklist to keep you on target to complete your unit and to be successful in your IEC class. The course shell may have pictures to help you navigate the course shell as well. A picture of a green wiener dog will be your prompt that that is an assignment upload in the BCTC IEC course shells. Why a wiener dog? Well, if you have taken IEC online with me, you know that my dog Judah, my favorite wiener dog in the world, helps to make the very first semester for all IEC students successful. So Judah will help you navigate to graduation through the BCTC IEC course shells. So now let's talk about how else you can be successful in your course shells and in this class. Let's talk about the observation files. We all have to have, as professional early childhood professionals, we have to have background checks. It is a KCTCS requirement that you have these background checks and a TB test. If you are a Bluegrass Community and Technical College IEC student, you must email me because I am your IEC coordinator to understand how these observation files work. You will complete a BCTC background check, the CAN check, KSP check, and have a TB current TB test on file with me and also a memorandum of agreement will be signed between where you do your observations and BCTC. You can email me at maria.rutherford at kctcs.edu. However, if I am not your IEC coordinator, and you are enrolled in another KCTCS sister school like Somerset Community College or Owensboro Community College or Henderson Community College or Gateway Community College, then you have your very own IEC coordinator. It is your responsibility as a student to contact that coordinator and these coordinators names are listed inside of your syllabus that we have given you. So contact that IEC coordinator and ask them how to complete your observation file. Once you have met their requirements and have the coordinator approval, then have the coordinator email your professor that you are granted clearance. I want you to understand that if you do not have clearance from your IEC coordinator, 
your observations will not be graded. These are observation papers, observation documents, and if they are not graded, they're counted as zeros. And if, in fact, you do not complete the observation hours, then you fail the class, even if you have an A in all of your work. This is listed in every syllabus that BCTC has given you in your IEC course shells. So why all the fuss? Why do we fuss about these background checks? Well, we are early childhood professionals who advocate for ensuring that all children in our care are safe. These background and checks ensure that you are ready to work in the field of early childhood and that the children that you will be taking care of are safe in your presence. I am truly grateful for you as a student. BCTC does offer IEC tutoring through FaceTime and Skype. This is a free service to all students who take IEC classes from BCTC. Miss Bonnie Rutherford is the IEC tutor. She is a graduate of the Bluegrass Community and Technical College IEC program. She was an outstanding um, early childhood student. She graduated top of her class in 2009. The tutoring schedule is posted in your syllabus. For BCTC students, she will be offering an IEC tutoring at the Lawrenceburg campus in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky and at the Newtown campus in Lexington, Kentucky. So please check your syllabus for the times and the dates and the days of the week that she will be at those sites to meet with you in person. However, those of you who cannot attend those in-person sections, please remember that you have availability to her tutoring through FaceTime or through Skype. All you have to do is email her. Her email and everything is located in your syllabus. As the IEC coordinator, I am here for your questions or your concerns. Please feel free to contact me. Again, my email address is Maria, M-A-R-I-A dot Rutherford, which is R-U-T-H-E-R-F-O-R-D at K-C-T-C-S dot E-D-U. My office number is 859-246-6616, but I will tell you, it is easier to get a hold of me through email than it is via telephone. From me to you, I hope you have a blessed and educational learning semester. So bye-bye for now and good luck in your IEC class.